Thanks to Professor Koh's work, we now know much more about the Maya. Without further delay, I am pleased to present to you Professor Michael Koh. Beginning about 800 A.D., something went drastically wrong with these people. This area was abandoned pretty much for, for hundreds and hundreds, almost uh, 800 years. By comparing civilizations in the past, you could illuminate the whole story of how human cultures came about to be. Scientists have recently uncovered evidence of advanced ancient civilizations that might not have been entirely human. Among these are the Mayan and Inca civilizations, whose astonishing achievements in engineering, astronomy, and record-keeping continue to baffle modern researchers. Many of these uh, great Maya cities have been extremely well mapped. These societies, with their towering pyramids, vast road networks, and intricate stonework, demonstrate a level of sophistication that has led some to speculate about extraterrestrial influence. As we delve into the remarkable legacies of the Mayans and Incas, the mysteries surrounding their capabilities and origins invite us to reconsider the limits of human ingenuity and the possible role of otherworldly intervention. The ruins of the Mayan civilization were rediscovered by Western explorers in the 19th century. John Lloyd Stevens and Frederick Catherwood played pivotal roles in bringing these sites to the world's attention. Stevens' detailed writings and Catherwood's accurate illustrations introduced the grandeur of Mayan architecture and culture to the Western world, sparking further exploration and study. The Mayan civilization thrived for over three millennia, from around 2000 BCE to 1500 CE, primarily across what is now Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras and El Salvador. This civilization developed in the region known as Mesoamerica, characterized by diverse landscapes including rainforests, mountains, and coastal plains. The geographical diversity greatly influenced the Mayan culture, agriculture, and architectural styles. The Mayans had one of the most sophisticated writing systems in pre-Columbian America, consisting of hieroglyphs. These hieroglyphs numbered around 800 distinct symbols, some representing syllables while others depicted whole words. This system enabled the Mayans to record their history, rituals, and astronomical observations with remarkable precision. Surviving codices, such as the Dresden Codex, provide invaluable insights into their knowledge and cultural practices. The Mayans were advanced in both mathematics and astronomy. They independently developed the concept of zero, a critical mathematical innovation, and utilized a vigesimal base 20 numbering system. Their calendar system was equally sophisticated. The Tzolkin, a 260-day ritual calendar, and the Harb, a 365-day solar calendar, were used in tandem to create a 52-year calendar round. Additionally, the Long Count calendar allowed the Mayans to chronologically record longer periods. They were capable of predicting solar eclipses and had detailed knowledge of celestial movements, particularly that of Venus. Mayan cities were renowned for their monumental architecture. Structures included temples, pyramids, palaces, and observatories, often constructed with precise alignment to astronomical events. One notable structure is the Temple of the Great Jaguar in Tikal, which stands 47 meters tall. These architectural marvels were often decorated with intricate carvings and inscriptions that told the stories of gods, kings, and important events. The Mayans played a ceremonial ball game known as Pocatoc, which held significant ritualistic importance. The game was played on large ball courts, with the Great Ball Court at Chichen Itza measuring 168 meters in length and 70 meters in width, making it one of the largest in Mesoamerica. The Mayans employed advanced agricultural techniques to sustain their large populations. They used methods such as terracing, which involved creating stepped fields on slopes to prevent erosion and manage water resources. Slash and burn farming was another technique, where vegetation was cut and burned to clear land for crops. And in the ashes, all the nutrients that were in the trees are now in the soil. Additionally, they developed raised field farming which involved creating elevated plots of land to prevent flooding and increase arable land in swampy areas. In 1911, Hiram Bingham, an American historian, brought international attention to the ancient site of Machu Picchu. His expedition and subsequent publications revealed the extent of Inca achievements, sparking widespread interest in Inca history and culture. 
The Inca civilization flourished between the early 15th century and the Spanish conquest in the 16th century, centered in the Andean region of South America. Their empire, known as Tahuantinsuyu, covered vast areas of modern-day Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, reflecting its vast territorial expanse divided into four administrative regions. The Incas were renowned for their extraordinary engineering and architectural skills. They constructed structures that have withstood the test of time and seismic activity, a testament to their advanced building techniques. Machu Picchu, located at an altitude of 2,430 meters, features intricate stonework using a technique called ashlar, where stones are cut to fit together without mortar, providing both aesthetic beauty and structural stability. Another marvel is Sacsayhuaman, a fortress near Cusco with massive stones, some weighing up to 200 tons, fitted together with remarkable precision. This site served as both a military complex and a ceremonial center. The Incas built an extensive and sophisticated road network known as the Capac Ñan, spanning over 40,000 kilometers across their empire. This network facilitated efficient communication, trade, and military movements throughout the mountainous terrain. The roads included bridges, tunnels, and rest stations called tambos. Agriculture was a cornerstone of Inca society, and their innovative techniques allowed them to thrive in the challenging Andean environment. They implemented terrace farming on steep slopes to prevent soil erosion and create arable land. These terraces were built with stone walls and filled with fertile soil. More a site featuring a series of concentric terraces, each with a different microclimate, is believed to have been an agricultural laboratory where the Incas experimented with crop cultivation. The Incas used a unique record-keeping system called quipu, consisting of knotted strings. Quipus were used to convey numerical information and record data such as census records, tribute obligations, and historical events. The system was highly versatile, with the color, length, and knotting patterns of the strings encoding different types of information. Religion was central to Inca life with a pantheon of gods and elaborate rituals. The sun god Inti was the most important deity, and the Incas considered themselves his descendants. The Coricancha in Cusco was the main temple dedicated to Inti, adorned with gold and precious stones. Both human and animal sacrifices were integral to their religious practices, conducted to appease the gods and ensure agricultural fertility, success in warfare, and the well-being of the empire. When comparing the Mayan and Inca civilizations, their engineering prowess stands out. The Mayans are known for their vertical architecture with iconic towering pyramids. El Castillo at Chichen Itza, standing 30 meters tall, is known for its precise astronomical alignment. On the equinoxes, shadows cast by the setting sun create the illusion of a serpent descending the steps, a tribute to the serpent deity Kukulkan. Another testament to Mayan architectural skill is the Temple of the Great Jaguar at Tikal, a 47-meter tall structure serving both religious and administrative purposes. In contrast, the Incas excelled in creating extensive horizontal structures and infrastructure, particularly in challenging mountainous terrains. The Capac Ñan road system, spanning over 40,000 kilometers, connected the vast Inca empire, facilitating communication, trade, and military movements. Their terrace systems, like those at Machu Picchu, not only prevented soil erosion but also created microclimates to cultivate diverse crops. In terms of record-keeping, the Mayans developed one of the most complex writing systems in pre-Columbian America, consisting of approximately 800 glyphs. Mayan scribes documented their knowledge in codices, such as the Dresden Codex, which contains detailed astronomical tables, ritual schedules, and historical records. Inscriptions on stelae and temple walls recorded important historical events, genealogies of rulers and religious texts, providing rich sources of information for modern researchers. The Incas, on the other hand, employed quipus, knotted strings used for record-keeping, which conveyed information through various combinations of knots and colors. Quipus were essential for administrative purposes, recording population data, tribute obligations, and resource inventories. While primarily understood as a numerical system, some researchers suggest that Quipus might also have encoded stories or information beyond numerical data, indicating a complex system of record-keeping. An intriguing theory that has captivated many is the ancient alien hypothesis. 
This theory proposes that advanced extraterrestrial beings influenced the development of ancient civilizations, including the Mayans and Incas. Proponents of this theory suggest that the extraordinary astronomical knowledge, precise architectural feats, and sudden emergence of complex societies could be attributed to contact with advanced alien civilizations. They point to structures like the pyramids at Chichen Itza and the precise stonework of Sacsayhuaman as beyond the technological capabilities of these civilizations without external help. However, Mainstream archaeology attributes these achievements to human ingenuity, cultural evolution and extensive knowledge accumulated over generations. Despite this, the hypothesis remains a popular topic in pseudoscientific discussions and media, appealing to those fascinated by the mysteries of ancient civilizations.